Hello, how is everybody? Welcome to FM Tuition Academy. This is Teacher Frank, the genius. Today we are actually learning uh, the 2019 past paper. So this past paper came in 2019. Let's go direct to the question. Question 1. Uh, that is B1 as you can see. B1 says, uh, B1 is a graph showing how the velocity of a car changed when the driver applied brakes upon seeing a head of Keto crossing the road. So as you can see, that's a velocity time graph. Huh? And then it starts from 12 there. It goes, these are the letters. Can you see? There, there, that is A. This one is B here. Can you see? So from A, it went to B. And then it went, and then there is point C there. Okay? So A there, B, and then C at the end. This is C. Can you see C here? That is C. So let's go. We start solving this. Question A says, use the graph, use the information on the graph. As you can see, I'm reading from here. Use the information on the graph. Use the information on the graph to calculate the A, the deceleration of the car between A and B. A and B. Deceleration, I told you. In the previous calculation, deceleration means you are coming down. So, we are calculating the deceleration of the car. So, there there is 12. So, I'm going to come here. And then I'm going to show you the deceleration of the car. So, the whole thing is like this. Okay? It looks something like this. So, the whole thing looks something like this. Uh... I'm going to rub this so the whole thing looks something like this. So it comes like this and then it went like this and then it came like this. You remember? So there there is point what? There is point A here. Uh, there is point A here. There is point B here and then there is point C. Okay? And then there are those. So we are calculating deceleration. I told you last time that the formula for acceleration is the same formula for deceleration. So for deceleration and acceleration, same. So acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. So acceleration is equal to, the formula for deceleration is the same formula for acceleration. So we are calculating the deceleration between point A and point B. So this point here, and that point there, this deceleration from there to there, this deceleration. And I told you that, can you see? So what's the initial velocity here? We have to find the velocity here and the velocity here. Okay? Because it's not coming to rest. What is the velocity there on, on A and what's the velocity on B? So on A is initial velocity, on B it is final velocity. So what are they, those two velocities? We come to the graph. We come to the graph. Let's come to the graph. What is the velocity at A? At A, the velocity is 12. Can you see the velocity there? It's 12. And then at B, if you go B here, you go straight this line, the velocity is 2. This is point B. Can you see B here? When you go this side, B is the velocity is 2 on B. And then the velocity on A is 12. Can you see? This is 2 here. And then the velocity there on A is 12. So A is 12, B is 2. So A is 12, B is 2. A is 12, so A is 12, B is 2. So uh, A is 12, U there is what? It's 12. And then V there it is 2. Okay? Because there is 2 here. Okay, there, two, there is two here. Uh, there is two here, and then there there is 12, as you saw in the diagram. So it means the velocity there on top is 12. The velocity down there is what? It's, it's 2. So final velocity is 12 minus initial velocity is 2 divided by how long did it take? This distance from here to here. What's the distance? This, this time. And check this time. How long was this time? When you go back to the graph, we check what time was it. 
this time was the four point that is four point one can you see those small boxes four point one four point two four point three four point four four point five four point five I believe should be four point five so that is four point five so four point five so we'll put four point five. is equal to 4.5 oh here we made a mistake final is what final is 2 there can you see final is 2 minus initial is 12 initial is 12 there we swapped them so a is equal to what is 12 minus 2 10 10 divided by 4.5 acceleration is going to be equal to what is 10 divided by 4.5? So I'm going to say 10 divided by 4.5, 2.2. So 2.2 meters per second squared. Okay. That's it. And then you go on the next question. The next question, what does it say? Let's look at the next question. The next question is saying the distance moved by the car in 10 seconds. You remember what I said when you're calculating distance, you get the triangle. So it means this triangle in the first, they're saying the distance moved in 10 seconds, meaning the area 10 seconds is here, 10, 10 seconds as you can see. So this whole diagram now 10 seconds. So what are you going to do? We'll come there, we'll pick it. 10 seconds so the distance in 10 seconds so there you know that here it is 4 seconds and then there it's 10 seconds okay so when you're calculating the distance in the first 10 seconds we're going to calculate the two areas okay the first area which is the area of this shape okay and also the area of this rectangle so this will be my area one. This one will be my area one. This one will be my area two. So this one, how do you calculate the area of that one? So we'll pick that shape. That is question two. So that shape is like this. It comes like this. So the distance from here to here is what? What's the shape of this, of this one? Uh, wait first. Let's look at the shape. The shape is which one? The shape looks like this. Okay, we didn't draw it nicely. So the shape, the shape looks like he looks like this. So it's like this. Mm, the shape comes like this. It comes like this and then goes like this. And then it came like this. This is the shape. Okay. The one that I was just from shading. This one. I shaded this one. So. The height from here to here. It's 12. Here it is 2. Okay. So meaning the distance between 12 and 2. I have to subtract 12 minus 2. So meaning the distance here. Is actually 10. Okay. And then this is the distance from here. To here. It's 10. Why? I'm, I'm subtracting 12 on top minus this 2. The distance from here to here, I have to come and check from the diagram. What is the distance? The distance from there to there, it is actually 2. As you can see, this distance is 2. From there to there, it's 2. So the distance is 2. So come there, we pick the distance is 2. So this distance is 2. And then the distance from here to here is 4 from the diagram. So area of the first one is equal to half, open bracket, A plus B, closed, H. Area is going to be equal to half, open bracket. What is my A? My A is 10. It's the longest side, 10 here, this one. So that will be 10 plus 
my b is 2 this one so i put 2 closed and then h is a distance separating the two this one which is 4 when i calculate the area there i say area is going to be equal to half times uh, this let me just simplify it just first so that we just don't waste much time 2 into 2 1 2 into 4 it's 2 so 10 plus 2 it is 12 12 times 2 it is area is equal to 24 okay so the area there is 24 so the first area is 24 for the first shape the second shape is a rectangle it's like this this one is a rectangle so here it is 4 there it is 10 okay and then the height from here to here it's actually what 2 which shape am i getting don't get confused the shape i'm getting is this one this is the shape i'm getting this one okay this is the shape i'm getting already we dealt with this area 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 one now we're dealing with area two so it is four ten there so four and ten height there it's two height there it is two so there to there 